welcome to atcm the emergency medicine channel today let us discuss about one of the important uh, disease that is monkeypox nowadays we know that uh, uh, all over the world 74 countries are infected with this monkeypox virus even in india also there are case reported so we'll see what is monkeypox and uh, how to manage this case Uh, and how to prevent spread that is very very important spread prevention of uh, spreading of this virus is most important than treatment at present it's a zoonotic infection that results in a rash similar to an eradicated disease that is smallpox it's a viral infection it it is uh, similar to smallpox but it is less severe to smallpox that is the advantage whereas smallpox was a very uh, severe disease a lot of deaths were occurred previously due to smallpox it's a member of orthopox virus genus family includes variola vaccina and cowpox viruses here the transmission mainly occurs through direct contact with an animal or human who are infected with this virus or a material uh, which contaminated which is contaminated with the virus like uh, clothing towels uh, other body fluids when they are contaminated with this virus that can also spread the disease the incubation period for monkeypox virus is around 5 to 13 days so around 2 weeks it is like any other uh, virus like chicken pox and all you have similar type of presentation there are two important uh, strains of monkey pox uh, they are mainly seen in africa clad 1 is responsible for monkey pox in congo clad 2 is uh, isolated from west africa so these are the two clads which can produce monkey pox so patients can develop monkey pox uh, from a, a other person who who is having infection it can spread through direct contact or persons who is having sexual contact with a person who is having genital or perineal lesions perianal lesions and travel to an endemic area that is also very important when we know that uh, an area is endemic for monkey pox if you had travel history and you have developed uh, lesions on the skin then you have to suspect monkey pox spread is mainly occurring through direct contact with an individual who is having monkey pox or the infected materials that is also can produce monkey pox spread micro aberrations in mucous membrane also can be a entry lesion for this virus So when we are traveling through an endemic area there is a high chance for uh, monkey pox uh, or any other uh, viral infection uh, the chances are very high when we are traveling through the endemic area of that disease there is a vertical transmission also explained in monkey pox normally monkey pox or any other pox virus like chicken pox small pox all these patients who can have a early phase of a uh, prodromal phase patient can have severe fever headache nausea vomiting severe myalgia these findings are there for almost all types of uh, viral fever especially pox viruses like chicken pox small pox monkey pox uh, all other conditions you have similar finding they are called as prodromal phase and uh, 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 following that patient can have fever myalgia chills all these things many patients who is having uh, monkey pox can have lymphadenopathy especially cervical nodes are enlarged you can get generalized lymph nodes you can get uh, nodes all over the body ultrasound may reveal uh, uh, intra abdominal nodes chest x ray may show mediastinal nodes uh, but they, that type of findings can be seen in many other viral infections also so they are not classical for uh, monkey pox now the rashes that is very important uh, rash develops in 1 to 3 days uh, it starts from the face and spreading to other parts of the body 
so that is uh, centrifugal distribution enanthems that is oral lesions can be there initially within one to two days macules begin on the face so the uh, lesion starts from the face rash spreads to all over the body in 24 hours that is a centrifugal distribution around third day it will become papules by four to fifth days lesion become vesicular that contains water raised and filled with clear fluid six day lesions become pustules that contains pus the color will change from clear to a opaque uh, color then pustules uh, remain for five to seven days then it will become crushed and it can fall down after that so you can see here anathems can occur initially then it will become macules papules vesicles then it will become pustules during that phase pustular phase of the disease most of these diseases patient can have severe secondary infections in the skin also can occur in some patients so sometimes it will it will become hemorrhagic uh, pustules that will become more se severe problem in patients who is having pox uh, related infections then it will become uh, crushed and pitted scars so all these things uh, are occurring as a series so in 2 to 3, two to three weeks patient may recover completely comparing to uh, smallpox the recovery chances are better than smallpox the mortality rate is very low comparing to smallpox rarely complications also can occur in uh, uh, monkeypox like you can get complication in chicken box and smallpox or any other pox virus you can get complication rarely here also you get uh, complication like most of the important complications are patient can have bilateral pneumonia that is bronco pneumonia some patients can have encephalitis some patients can have hypotension shock septicemic features all these things secondary bacterial infections are very very common because any viral infection like this can reduce the immunity of the patient and secondary bacterial infections are very very common especially when the patient is already having another pre-existing immunocompromised status like malignancy on chemotherapy post transplant or uh, diabetes steroid use or any other drugs used for rheumatoid arthritis sle and all the uh, mortality rate is around 10 percent uh, uh, that occurs in the second week of the illness so uh, comparing to chicken box mortality is slightly high but comparing to small box mortality rate is low now you can see the clinical findings and complications here fever headache myalgia backache lymphadenopathy chills exhaustion uh, rashes and uh, rashes we have seen what type of rashes uh, patient develops uh, it starts from the uh, face then it spreads uh, all over the body uh, mouth and throat, throat ulcers are very very classical for uh, common for this disease complication bacterial super infection uh, corneal infection because of eye lesions can occur in some patients permanent scarring in the eyes can occur bronchopneumonia is very important sepsis septic shock can occur in some patients cellulitis is very common in, in patients who is having diabetes respiratory distress ARDS can present like any other viral fever encephalitis can occur in some patients dehydration is very very common in many patients who is having uh, this type of illness like viral fever they can have uh, severe fluid loss from either from high degree fever or due to vascular leaking syndrome so uh, dehydration hypotension shock is a common feature for most of the uh, severe viral diseases rarely patient can develop hemorrhagic complications diagnosis when we are seeing any viral infection including this monkey pox we can see the liver function test uh, stot stpt will be slightly elevated bilirubin can be slightly elevated leukocytosis can be there in some patients that indicates secondary skin infection or secondary pneumonia thrombocytopenia is seen in most of the viral illnesses including uh, monkey pox hypoalbuminemia indicates vascular leak it may uh, lead to hypotension and shock and real time pcr is the investigation of choice from the infected lesions that will give the diagnosis of monkey pox and management is mainly supportive at present it is mainly supportive specific treatment for monkey pox at present it is not available but there are some trial drugs we'll discuss that also now uh, some drugs are tried like cedofovir with uh, uh, brincidofovir uh, ticovirimat uh, vaccina immune globulin 
post exposure prophylaxis with uh, uh, genos vaccine so these are the uh, important uh, uh, prophylactic and treatment uh, drugs or vaccines available uh, but uh, they are not uh, recommended at present they are all uh, in trials some centers are using these drugs now complications are very very important like any other viral fever uh, there is there, uh, when there is no specific treatment we have to treat the patient uh, patient's complications so bronchopneumonia ards should be uh, treated with uh, non invasive ventilation sepsis should be treated with intravenous fluids noradrenaline uh, corticosteroids antibiotics gastrointestinal and throat ulcers oral intravenous anti emetic and anti diarrheal medication oral intravenous rehydration uh, treatment for diarrhea fever anti pyretic medications external cooling super infections of skin you can give antibiotic especially uh, uh, antibiotic like azithromycin will be very useful for skin infection lymphadenopathy there is no specific treatment analgesics can be given but remember why these patients can have thrombocytopenia so nsaids may aggravate the problem so paracetamol or any other uh, uh, non uh, nsaid pain reliever centrally acting pain reliever can be given corneal infection uh, you can treat with ophthalmic uh, antibiotics antivirals and corticosteroids skin scarring cellulitis skin lesions uh, you can give dressings uh, antibiotic soothing agents all these things Oh, there is a drug called as ticovirimat that is tried in patients with good results 35 to weight 35 to less than 120 kg 200 mg every 12th hourly for 14 days more than 120 kg 300 mg every 12th hour for 14 days creatinine clearance if it is less than 30 ml per minute you cannot use iv preparation you can use oral preparation oral preparation 40 to 120 kg 600 mg twice daily for 14 days more than 120 kg 600 mg three times daily for 14 days so most of the indian population they are less than 120 kg so you can give uh, iv 200 mg every 12th hourly or 600 mg oral tablets twice daily for 14 days there is a vaccine available uh, 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 in Yes, that is FDA approved. That is uh, Jainos, also known as Imvamune or Imvamnex uh, vaccine. Uh, at present, it is not available in our country. The MVA vaccine is administered as two doses subcutaneously, four weeks apart. That is given as a post-exposure uh, vaccination. Even pre-exposure, also we can try this in endemic area. Uh, currently uh, these are the three available options for monkey pox so we have discussed about one of the newer uh, pandemic uh, around 74 countries are now infected with uh, this pandemic so there are limited treatment options at present it uh, resembles uh, smallpox but uh, fortunately the mortality rate is uh, low comparing uh, to smallpox however prevention is better than cure we have to prevent this disease by avoiding close contacts with the person who is having infection or when we are as healthcare professionals when we are having contact with uh, these individuals or uh, the persons who is having uh, monkey pox we have to take care the uh, like uh, proper personal protection equipments are very very important to prevent infections from this uh, type of individuals and uh, uh, we also have to take care of the contaminated clothing contaminated materials we have to take care of proper uh, methods to be um, uh, done to prevent contamination and uh, disposal of this uh, materials thank you